So if you don't know how to braid, this is for you and it's so quick and so easy. So um, I do this with my hair straight and I also do it with a curly. So I've curled everything and I just left this section straight that I want to braid. So just comb it out a little and then I'm gonna grab, I have um, some clear elastics here that I just got at Sally's. I'm sure you can get these at Target or anywhere that has um, elastics. And have three to four on hand, just depending on how big you make the sections and um, how much hair you have. So I'm gonna grab this first section, so maybe like an inch and a half or so of hair, and take one of my elastics, tie it around there. Sorry, I'm all arms in your face. Pull it up just a little, and then I like to have a little bit of volume at the top, so I pull it out just a bit up here. And then you're going to grab it in the middle, separate and flip that elastic through there. And then you can piece it out a little bit more up here too and just kind of fix that as you go, but we'll do it again at the end. So um, now I'm gonna grab my next elastic, get that ready, and then my next section of hair I'm gonna grab with the one that I just did. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that. Okay, and then all of that I'm gonna put in another elastic. And then same thing, just kinda pull it out, piece it a little. Um, when you're doing this, it's good to keep the, the hair kind of next to your head when you're pulling it out. Because if you go like this and start pulling it, then your hair is going to stick out. We don't want to do that. So then now we're just going to do the same thing. Just separate it in the center there, flip it through. And pull it down. And then again, I'll, I'll piece it more at the end. Just, you can um, piece it out, make it as poofy as you want, separate it a little, and then you can either, you can, and again, if you want it even a um, little bit more volume in it and you want to pull it a little, hold it down here against your head, and then just yank on these pieces just ever so Slightly, just like you would on a braid to piece it out and just make it a little bit more um, fluffy. <laughs> I like fluffy. And then I'm gonna take my flat iron, which is how I, um, I curled my hair. So I have a tutorial on that about curling, um, doing beach waves with this flat iron here, which this is a, a lounge. So I like this one for curling. This is the Appleteer, which is like $29 usually when, they, when they're having a sale, so it's really cheap. I don't love it for straightening though. So you can see here, like it works really well for curling. And then I like doing it with the flat iron because you can make the ends straight, which is nice because I like that more like beachy relaxed look. And I'm just piecing it a little. And then um, I like volume, so I'm gonna take my comb here and just create a little bit of volume. But how easy was that and how cute is that? That look, it's so much fun. Um, I guess I could curl this bottom piece here. There we go, that's good enough. I'll just pull this out and get me some volume. Spray it. I like to spray, especially when I have curls, kind of up and under there. More like a texturizing spray. I'm just getting that volume in there. But yeah, how simple is that and how cute? And you spent literally maybe 30 seconds. But it's fun to do. It's super easy, especially if you want something like a look with your hair out of your face. So perfect. So have fun with it.